Right, so uh, this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Iron as well, a rising weekly business and uh, career tarot reading, February 10th to February 16th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested into a uh, into a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website and as well a link to your other video of the week which focuses on career and relationships. So uh, business-wise, the first card here shows us the topic of your week that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the next one which stands as the um, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. Uh, that will be the Four of Cups, uh, followed by the next one here, which stands as the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week uh, in terms of business and career. Sagittarius, that will be the uh, Four of Swords. Moving to the next one, which stands as the um, gifts and the blessings that you can uh, enjoy and you should enjoy in uh, career and business field in this week, that is to be the Page of Cups. Uh, followed by the next one here, which is what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around in terms of business and career. That will be the uh, Emperor card. And the final one, which stands as the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you in term, uh, in term of business and career, we have the Queen of Cups. All right, so uh, that will be a bit on the aggravating kind of side in terms of business and career. Uh, it's because of the energies and the topic itself that the energy supports. So what happens here it is that uh, you would rather be thirsty, say, for a new challenges in there, or for a new bigger project, for a better assignment as well, you know, and in generally for something out to happen in there into the working place that you are occupying, into the business that you are involved yourself in, or in generally, if you are on the market of finding job, you would love to see, you know, new um, places that are opening for you to occupy, probably, prob possibly, excuse me, moving forward into the future. But on its own accords with those uh, with those energies, that ain't gonna happen. So what I mean here it is that these new opportunities or rather like a, uh, a varieties that you may be craving for they won't be shoved in your face but instead you have to make the effort to find them on your own okay and for that being said it is why we do have the knight of pentacles here into the prime position of the reading which it kind of like puts you in a state uh that it's uh, it's a, a contiguous action, one that leads to another. And the first thing that you will have to do throughout the week is uh, identify what you want. Uh, because the Knights of Pentacles, I kind of like it's very aware and in tune with what it, what it, or in this case you, does want to do. Not for yourself, not for the distant future, but right now, what do you want to do right now? What kind of a job you want to occupy? What kind of a project you want to be a uh, part of? And etc. etc. And then when you do identify that, then you have to start making a simple actions into that direction, which are to be supported with rather strong determinations. Okay, so you got to really show that you mean what you are doing here. Otherwise, no one is going to take you seriously for what you are um, giving um, an inquiry that uh, you want to take a participation into. And uh, those two cards are, ju are just kind of like a screaming that you are finding yourself or you are to find yourself throughout this week in a rather a place into your career where it's, how can I say it? Uh, it's, I would say it that way, it's not going to suit you for long because you're not going to be satisfied anymore with the place you are finding moving forward into the future. You are finding yourself at moving forward into the future. And so one way or the other, now or later, uh, you alone will start looking for a better opportunities. And it is best to start now rather than to 
start later when there are just so many as many people also are going to start looking for them and are going to catch them before you can okay so that week once again for you sagittarius it is a week where despite that you may be in a comfortable place you have to raise your head above the clouds and start looking for other fields that you can have a growth at uh, now the challenges that you will have to face here it is uh, the four of swords and that is uh, just uh, it kind of resembles the peace and the lack of problems that needs to be resolved therefore the lack of opportunities to shine so that is something that you will have to overcome in a sense of that you alone need to kind of seek once again the problems to be resolved into your career and into your business or into seeking a career so it's kind of like you have to pull an ace here from your sleeve to um to show how you can shine well, oh my god it's very difficult to describe it we'll take it that way completely normal week in terms of career and you have to figure out a way to make yourself shine in front of others although that prerequisite is not going to be shoved into your face and you're not going to have it presented to you on a platter so you alone have to make those circumstances under which you are going to shine in front uh in front of others and another thing here with the, the four of swords in terms of business and career it is that it is highly unlikely that you are going to face and not exactly an understanding but a time from the other people like your co-workers or from like from like your boss to listen to you and uh with that being said uh, you're going to have a rough time explaining yourself uh, and your future uh, futuristic ideas for how you are for what kind of a place you're going to take into the company that you're working at right now so you have a lot to overcome here um sagittarius I, I, it looks like guys that you do have the capacity you do have the potential it is just the whole circumstances that does not allow you to unfold it and as the muhammad does not go to the mountain the mountain has to come to Muhammad. That, that is an expression into our country, you know. But uh, yeah, it's like if the circumstances are not presented, then you have to forge your own circumstances here. And that will be the difficulty. That will be the challenge. So what will be the gift and the blessing uh, that uh, you are going to be uh, graced with? Uh, that is the gift and the blessing of the page of cups and that gift and blessing resides only into the uh, awareness that things are not going to stay like they are right now eventually they are going to be set into flux and someone has to take the lead you know and that uh, many people will, will not be able to catch up with the dynamic of the flow and etc etc and so your gift and blessing is that you are going to be forewarned for that this time is coming and that itself is going to provoke in you those kind of like urges that you have to do something different you have to do something new you have to go for a new project or you have to make up a new project for yourself to go for you know and in generally you you, you will need to provoke a new challenges for yourself in terms of a business and career and uh, Additionally to that, uh, as the gifts and the blessings of the Page of uh, Cups, it's always about the overview. It isn't, it, it's never about the current details or the current situations. So instead of feeling poignant that at that point you may not have that much field to uh, show your skills to shine with, okay, you are going to still looking forward uh, toward the future, having... Um, it's not even a hope but awareness that eventually your time is going to come around and that will help you to make some certain assessments of yourself uh, in a sense of the repositioning for example changing allegiances you know detaching from one project in favor of another as well it's kind of like swapping positions so you can position yourself best way how you capitalize the change that it is looming on the horizon uh next one here it is how people are going to take on you what kind of an impression you're going to leave into people and that is going to be the emperor card so a bit contradictory to the four of swords while people are not going to listen to you because they simply won't have the time to do so still people your colleagues your boss your supervisor is going to find you very reliable as a matter of fact they're going to find you someone who is 
um, always being able to keep up with the task, okay? To keep up with the motion, to keep up with the pace, and not just only that, but also a person who is very professional and person who always uh, simply can manage, okay? And, def and therefore, there are there is no yo-yo effect in your work. There is no roller coaster effect in your work. <coughs> Meaning that your boss, your supervisor are going to find you very consistent and that is very good all right so that means that they will have plans for you moving into the future which can be seen here in the page of cups but also that kind of predispose for a bit more higher expectations than they has for the other people that are around you um, nonetheless, uh, you, ha you are to be expected to have no complaints, but just do the job you signed for. And the last card that we do have here, it is about the guidance the Tower is offering, and that will be the Queen of Cups in terms of business and uh, career. So despite that this, uh, this week is going to be a, a lackluster in terms of, you know, opportunities and that you will have to kind of like lick them from your fingers to figure out how to do something to impress those around. Uh, still, the tarot is advising you not to bear on your job yet, because th that's the first thing that people think about, you know, so that job does not offer me anything new anymore, so probably it's time for me to switch the job and to go for a another. Now, this card, the Queen of Cups here, advises you not to do so. There is still what to be accomplished in your current position that you are occupying. There is still what to be um achieved in there and so the queen of cups as a business and career um it's actually the little sister of the empress in that position it does point that you have to start making your plans focused more on the distant future like uh, rather than on the immediate to near future okay it's like playing a chess so right now you have to plan your 10th move from now rather than the next move that uh, is to be made in regards to a business and career and it will and also the card here points that you need to show um, or you need to be discreet especially if you are assigned upon a certain project you shouldn't brag about it or nor you should kind of like reveal a sensitive information about it uh, as well so uh that being said guys sagittarius this was your weekly business and career tower reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you are interested into a having a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website as well as link to your other uh, reading of the week which is focused on a relationship and love so hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then bye